Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at a new acquisition for my collection, but an older doll that I'm sure a lot of you already have, but I don't. And I was so excited to get her and for the price that I got her, it's absolutely astounding. So that is the one and only Maleficent doll from Sleeping Beauty. This is of course the animated version, not the live action because we didn't get any limited edition for the live action Maleficent movies. Kind of a bummer, those would have been pretty cool. But definitely stay tuned as we go through all the details that this gorgeous villain doll has to offer. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take a look at the box. And of course, I've got this glare here, so we'll get that taken care of very pretty quick. Now, I did get mine for only 77 bucks. So at that price, of course, there's gonna be some issues. So you can see here, I've got a little tear and a fold there, fold there, fold there, crunched corner there. But for $77, I can look past that. Like, see, there's a little ding right there. Um, the, the bulk of the box and the doll itself is fine. I've got a couple of scratches right here on the plastic. I'm not gonna worry too much about that kind of stuff. Like I said, when I can get him for that cheap, it is okay with me. Um, I, I mean, I don't want like a banged up, damaged, ripped and torn box. Um, since I don't debox, I would definitely not want that. But uh, this one, considering, uh, you know, the price again, like there's a little bit of damage there. Not bad for $77. So I just want to show you real quickly, you know, that is why it was as cheap as it was. I'm not going to complain too much about it, but we do have the old Disney Star logo as well as the 6 Plus and this really cute little design there. I love the foil purple um, filigree uh, work that goes all the way around the box and the window. She was limited edition of 4000 You can see there it says Maleficent. And then um, as you kind of saw on the sides, we have this beautiful, what looks like a castle window cutout more of the purple foil, a little window to see Maleficent herself. And then on the back, I love the back of this box. So we have that same purple foil look. We have the Sleepy Beauty logo, Maleficent. We have this gorgeous silhouette of her in Diablo. There it does talk a little bit about the doll itself. So if you'd like to pause and read it, there you can. And then again in French, of course, it does state certificate of authenticity and display stand is included. And then um, all the good copyright stuff. And then this, of course, was back when dolls were $119.95 in America, of course. Now they're $129.99, but it is what it is. And then on this side, of course, we have that same window cut out and uh, you can see the white printing um, of that same floral pattern on the plastic too right there, like you can see it in the window. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get the plastic off so we can take a better look at Maleficent's amazing details. Okay, I do have the plastic off of her here. So I wanna take a look at the background of the box first. So it does look like the inner workings of the castle that of course uh, Sleeping Beauty's parents lived in. Uh, Aurora's parents, I guess, if you will, kind of push her dress out of the way here. You can see some coat of arms there on the wall, some beautiful stonework, the brick pillars and cavernous ceilings going on, and then more on the side over here too. So a very beautiful detail that that box has. I love when they do like a scene in the background. I think it looks really, really nice, um, especially when it allows the doll itself to pop. So I love the lighter background with the darker doll. When they do a dark background with a lighter doll, sometimes I think it looks a little funky. So, but this I actually like quite a bit. So now moving on to Maleficent herself. Of course, we have her evil, wonderful horns here. They are, of course, plastic. Her, um, she does not have any rooted hair whatsoever aside from her eyelashes. So that is just one big plastic mold. Um, her face has that oily look to it, but I think for Maleficent, it works. Mine keeps wanting to get washed out. You can see there it does have that opalescent type of pearlized look to it. We keep getting like a yellow greenish tint to it, which is perfect considering, you know, her evil magic tends to come out in like a yellow color, yellow green color. I love her bright yellow eyes, her purple irises. She does have long dramatic eyelashes here. You can see gorgeously put in, uh, rooted in well as well. And I love her, uh, her like her eye. I love, 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 love her face detail. I mean, look at that expression. So wonderfully painted. And her lips are that blood red. Now, I don't know what's going on here. This is a little weird to me. It looks like there should have been more to it because um, it's not the same as this. It's just like a gray color. So I don't know if that's supposed to represent a shirt or what. If not, Gal's got a very plunging neckline, but it is what it is. What I absolutely love about Maleficent though is this amazing collar. So we have a purple, um, like satin fabric here with purple uh, rhinestones. And then we have black pleather with black rhinestones going all the way around. And you can see there, they catch the light really, really well. Her collar is phenomenally done. The purple one um, 
does have the pleather on the back of it. These are the pleather all the way around on it and the uh, stitching in there to give it the pleats. Absolutely love it. Her plunging neckline, of course, is purple with those same um, purple colored rhinestones on it as well. She does have a black velvet dress that is absolutely stunning and so, so soft. There is black embroidery made to kind of look like the uh, thorns that surround the tower that Sleeping Beauty's in. We have large black crystals encrusted all over that embroidery there. You can see uh, kind of all the way around. Very, very phenomenal. Absolutely love it. It is much darker than my camera is picking it up. I mean, this, it is, there we go. That's a lot better. It is black, black and super, super soft. Um, so she does have on her sleeves here, a purple satin cuff. I love this little detail here that they painted on a ring and she does have red nail polish on. I think that's really, really cool. Now her under uh, dress, I guess, if you will, is a pleated purple. And uh, that is like a satin material, very, very soft. I love how it feels. The inner part of her coat um, the, is, has these red satin panels. And I mean, they are blood red. So, so gorgeous. The embroidery stops um, on her sleeves. It is only on her sleeves. It's not on the actual dress itself. But I thought that was kind of a bummer, but it's okay. If you see over here, she does have tails almost on the ends of her um coat there her coattails so if you were to unbox her, i'm sure those would spread out very very nicely and then you can see here because of it being folded in the box my pleats have these funny little designs in it but that's okay now we can see maleficent's shoes and it looks like she just has some light grayish maybe black um heels on and then of course her legs are the same color as her neck so uh, not a whole lot of detail in the shoes but that's okay you don't expect a whole lot of detail in the shoes uh when the main focus of course is this gorgeous gorgeous face and dress that she has on now her accessory of course is she actually comes with two she comes with diablo her crow looking menacing as always he is a rubber banded then to her staff which has these amazing amazing curled like talons it has clear crystals embedded throughout it it's got the i don't know what you call that part of it but the top part of the scepter is like a clear ball but inside of it it's got like this i don't even know it looks like wrapped tin foil almost i know that's not what it is but it looks so wicked and then it comes all the way down of course to the bottom of the box and it is tied in so that it doesn't like fall around or anything like that but that is the one and only amazing maleficent doll i have been wanting this one for a couple of years now just been trying to find a really good price and like i said 77 bucks not bad at all um i was really pleased and the condition that she's in is fantastic the doll itself so i am really happy with that now like i said they did make 4,000 of her of the 4,000, i did get number 1499 so almost right on 1500 and one away i keep telling myself one of these days i'm going to get uh, a coa that is either right in the middle or a full number and i have yet to have that happen one of these days one of these days but if you would like to pause and read there you can as that is her official certificate of authenticity all right guys well thank you for joining me on my review of the maleficent limited edition doll that was released by the disney store and shop disney of course i hope you enjoyed definitely leave your thoughts and comments down below if you have this one or if you haven't gotten this one yet i still cannot believe i got this for 77 bucks that blows my mind granted like i said there are some issues with the box and all that but still 77 dollars well below retail, so I'll take it. All right, well, again, let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as the notification bell so that you know my videos do come out. Also, make sure to go and follow me out on Instagram. I'll leave a link to that down below too. I do post out there on a pretty regular basis, and it's a lot of fun out there too. So, all right, guys, well, again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a very magical day, and we will see you real soon.